All right, so let's get started with A to C name failover. So um, you probably already know this, like with an A record, it's uh, pointing a domain to an IP address. With a C name record, it's a domain to a host name. And with failover, you can only fail over one kind of endpoint to another kind of endpoint. Um, so that means with a record failover, it's an IP to an IP. So what if you have two web servers and one of them is at an IP address and another one is at a host name? You can't fail over from one to the other. Instead, what you have to do is turn your IP address into a host name. And to do that, we're just going to create an A record that has a name that we want, and that's going to append that to the beginning of our domain name, which creates a host name. And Jesse's going to show us real quick how to do that in the Constellix suite. All right, let me take the wheel here. So we're already in an existing domain, mywebsite.com, and we're going to add an A record. We're going to name it web server, and we're going to point it to an IP. Save and close. And now one thing when you're doing this that you'll notice is at the very top of the screen, you actually get a preview of what's going on with your record. So you can see that we just created a host name right there. All right, so name it dub dub dub. And always remember to enable failover. That is very important. All right, and the host name is web server. And this is our secondary host name. This is our backup system. And when you do this, when you add a host name that's external, make sure you add the dot at the end. And like you can see this in the preview, if you don't have the dot, it'll append your domain name to the end of the address. 